Dominica is regarded as one of the most pristine islands in the Eastern Caribbean region with an abundance of natural resources. Even more important is the human resource component, especially the children. Recognizing that all Dominican children have the right to live and grow in a safe and healthy environment, including schools where they feel valued and are provided with knowledge and skills to be productive citizens, the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development, in collaboration with UNICEF, in 2009 began implementing practices in select Dominican primary schools to make them more child-friendly. The broad vision of the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development is the provision of high-quality education for all. We believe that a child-centered approach is the best approach to be used within the schools. And when we saw the concept as outlined through the child-friendly schools, we decided that we should be part of this process. We piloted the project at 10 of our schools and we are satisfied that we are seeing significant changes in our schools geared towards the whole development of our students. While there are different entry points to CFS practices across the world, in Dominica, as in some other Eastern Caribbean countries, the focus has been on introducing positive behavioral management practices in classrooms, creating classrooms that are learning ready, focusing on healthy lifestyles, fostering systems that encourage the participation of children, and promoting parental and community involvement. Recognizing that the process towards making schools more child-friendly could have its challenges, the Ministry of Education and Human Resource Development sought to prepare teachers and principals for this undertaking by first implementing the necessary training. We began with an orientation training for the coaches of all the 10 pilot schools. At the end of this, they were supposed to have gone back to their schools and do several things. One, they were supposed to have conducted a needs assessment where they examined the functioning of the different systems within their schools. And then most importantly, they were supposed to meet with the entire staff of their school, develop the expectations that they want to see promoted within their schools, develop lesson plans for them, and then teach the expectations. Within the child-friendly school process, we never assume that children know how to behave in a particular setting. So we teach them how to behave in that particular setting. For example, the 5B processes at the Pebush Primary School. To begin with, we implemented the expectation, five expectations. Be safe, be kind, be cooperative, be respectful and be peaceful. The students, sometimes some will forget what they have to do, but most times all you have to do is remind them of what they have to do. Sometimes if there's need for them to apologize or whatever, but most of the time there's no need to use a strap and as a result I do not have one in my office. Additionally, in an effort to encourage the involvement of children as part of their CFS practices, a student council was also established at the Paybush Primary School. Comprising of eight members, this council has played a role in improving the school environment for students. The principal initiated the, the, the student council to get the bigger students and the monitors more involved in taking up leadership positions and so. The students felt that it was, it was necessary to have the gates up again and since then we have had them repaired. To get the gate fixed, we went together as a student council to talk with the staff of the Pebbles Primary School. We asked them to fix the gate so they agreed. We went along with asking different people to, uh, to help weld the gate and stuff. We got all the supplies we needed. We welded the gate, we straightened it, we helped lift it and stuff, and we helped paint it also. Since the introduction of the CFS practices, the Paybush Primary School has encouraged parental involvement by allowing parents to provide ground provisions which contribute to the healthy meals that are now served at the school. 
inclusive learning ready classrooms are also an important aspect of child friendly school practices and the Salisbury Primary School has embraced this fully by changing its teaching methods to make the curriculum more child centered. I think the greatest change that CFS has made in our students is that it has shifted their point of focus from me to us. They now understand that it's not my classroom, it's not my space, it's our classroom, it's our space, it's our world. That's basically perfection. And we don't have perfection, but we're getting there. I'm very proud of that. The Castle Bruce Primary, another school involved in the CFS process, has seen great improvement in the attitudes of the students after the implementation of a reward system through its school store. We had spoken to our parents about what we wanted to do. Everybody came on board. We had trouble rewarding children. It seemed as if we had good practices in place for when people break the standards, but we didn't have much in place for when they do well. So we have a point form that you, everybody have their heart shape, and when they follow standards or they do extra, they take the initiative, never miss school, they get points on their heart shape, and then they can go to the store with their heart shape. So you can go to the store and look at what you want to purchase, and you work towards buying it with your points. A direct change as a result of the CFS program is that um, the rowdiness of the children has went down a great bit. All right, there's more order. I'd say a more sense of you know discipline, a sense of of knowing exactly what it is they're supposed to, what is expected of them. The Grand Bay Primary, located in the south of the country, is another school which has embraced the child-friendly school practices. They have sought to engage the community members by allowing them to become monitors of the Principal's 200 Club. From January of this year, 2010, we implemented the Child Friendly Schools program. And uh, what we have done, we have adopted certain aspects of the program to implement at, implement at our school. So for example, we have the Principal's 200 Club, which is our biggest um, child-friendly investment, if you want to look at it like that. Um, basically, what happens is the children are monitored throughout the day. And at the end of every day, if a teacher or any ancillary staff or anybody who works with the school, it could be the cook, the, the vendors, they would give one child a ticket for that day basically for behavior or for being kind or for whatever it is. This um, system we have seen has worked very well because our children's behavior has improved and um, children are excited. Everybody wants to get a ticket. So everybody's doing exactly what they have to do. We don't have any fights. We don't have children running in the corridors. We have them lining up. We have seen quite a few changes with that child-friendly schools um, program. For the children to get the token, they must be quiet, well-behaved, and helpful. So I give them the token for their reward. The benefits of child-friendly school interventions are being echoed throughout the Dominican school community. To date, in Dominica, almost 1,700 students have been impacted and they all speak very positively about the changes they have seen. Well, I really think CFS is very important because it encourages children to do their work, to do their homework. And ever since this program came into our school, the children have been better. If some people wasn't sure about CFS, I would tell them to put it because the children will be respectful and their behavior will be very good. I would say CFS is a very good program. Well, CFS is a wonderful program which can change my life and any other individual which is a part of CFS. Implementing CFS practices is by no means a quick fix to all the challenges that a school faces. However, the results have shown that the schools involved have reported that the students are more settled. They are choosing less violent means to resolve their conflicts, resulting in a calmer school environment, and they 
are more respectful. If I were to talk to any individual, teachers or principals of a school who are skeptical about introducing the CFS program at their school, I would tell them get on board. And with the child-friendly schools, I think that the children have the willpower to behave themselves because they are always looking for our reward. And as long as these rewards are given, the children behave. And I can attest to that at our school.